All right, spring's right around the corner. Time to paint a crawfish crankbait with the aid of this. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm starting to make baits, uh, getting ready for spring. And everyone loves orange red baits in the spring. A um, couple theories on that is during this time of year, especially in the south, the crawfish are coming back out. They're eating a lot of uh, phytoplankton and stuff in the clays. It turns them kind of a red. Some people say they turn a little bit more red when they molt. Um, my theory, that does go along with it, but here's my theory also that helps out, especially up here in the north where we don't have those red crawfish. Fish see red and green very, very well. Um, they're just coming out of a slow winter where their body is almost shut down, they're really not active, they're not feeding much. So when they see red, that's, boom, gotta get good that. Um, I saw one guy on his, uh, his uh, channel's uh, Bass and HQ. He also thinks bass get kind of stupid over the uh, winter months and due to either hunger or just the slow metabolism. But I think it's, um, Definitely, it's, I think it's a good theory that the red triggers a bite better in spring because they're really hungry. Um, hey, what? Let's go to the build or the paint, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's get started. We are going to be using my uh, USB battery powered airbrush today. And we have a 1.5 square wheel. And Hopefully, this is going to turn out. Sorry about that. All right, first coat of white down. Let's go ahead and. All right, first coat's down. Heat set it. Using my wife's hair dryer because you've seen me. Obviously, I have no need for one. I'm just trying to put a, a decent base layer down um, for the red. <clears throat> Sorry about that. All right, heat set time. All right, we've got red in the uh, airbrush now. Now, you may be hearing footsteps and bells and all that stuff. The two kittens, Gulliver, I'm not sorry, Sullivan and Vader, they're a little bit wound up today. That looks a little bit more orange on the camera than it really is, so that's first coat. Let's heat set it. 
All right, back at it. Getting better. white patch right there and it's gone oh, just a second here <clears throat> make sure I get this bottom here sorry Now I'm just looking it over, see if I can see any spots that need another coat. Alright. Heat set time. Alright. You're going to notice it's tilted back away from you now. Um, I did that because for me, being above the uh, camera, it's straight on, so you have to forgive me for that one. Um, hold on, I'm gonna back this off real quick. There's my stencil. It didn't have any thin enough plastic I was happy with, so I thought, hey, use cardboard. Then I said, well, cardboard, you know, it'll soak and get gross. Then I remembered, hey, cards are plastic coated. Or if anyone wanted anything at the Golden Nugget, who knows? All right, so just gonna kind of flex it back to give it a little bit of curve here. We're just gonna go right there, put a nice thin line on, let's zoom back in. All right, let's see how this goes. I've also taken the nozzle off the uh, airbrush. Let's see if we can get that in there. Nope. So I can get a finer line towards me. I'm just going right along the edge here. Line number one. Now we're going to use this side. First one, I'm gonna bend it back down this way. First one, I'm gonna put right about there. smudge it. I'm going to heat set that real quick. Alright. To the next one. We'll go a little bit closer and a little bit higher up. That one wasn't as good, but it's okay. You guys know me, I'm not perfect in any sort of way. And then this will be the last one.
you know what? I'm pretty happy with that. Hm. Yeah. Hey, now's a great time to hit like and subscribe. Thank you. And now we just have to do the same thing to the other side. Kind of flip the card around. Oops, scoot this <laughs> over. There we go. And last. Yes. There we go. And I think we have a black bag. All right, so there we have it. Turn the torch a little bit more. I'll be darned. It worked. <laughs> All right, um, added the eye. I thought about painting the eye black, and I said, eh. Honestly, I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference. Changed my mind. And honestly, with the paint around the rest of that, I doubt they even notice. Do fish really notice this stuff, or is it more for us? That's the big debate. But yeah, it turned out pretty decent. All right, gotta be honest, I was pretty happy with that. Um, I know there's a lot of other ways to do stencils and everything, but I, I try to keep things simple on my channel so everyone can see you can do this um you can make a bait that you can go out and catch fish with with just very simple things uh there's some 3d printed um stencils out there that are really incredible and if you want to use those that's awesome i wouldn't mind having a pair of them or a set of them just because they're really cool but i try to keep everything simple on our builds and uh I'm pretty happy with that one, how it turned out and everything. Now we just need a little bit warmer water, so see if we can uh, catch some fish. But that's about it for this episode. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out. Um, I appreciate all my new subscribers. We're almost at a thousand. And that's about it. Thank you guys so much again, and tight lines.